Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel if you do. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for encouragement is, God said you will make it. You have to work towards your goals. You have to work hard. You know, this world that we're living in, there's some good people out here that can help you to master your goals. Like, you got to show up. You know, some of you want a job. You want to change your life. You got to show up. Go get an application. Go change your life to be the person that you are called to be. You don't have to be lazy. You don't have to always look for somebody to give you something. Be willing to get up and get uncomfortable. You know, you have to get uncomfortable in your position to receive the things that God has for you. If you want anything in this world, you have to run. You have to go get it. Sometimes things are given to you by favor, by grace. But you need to get up. Some of you need to get up and stop being lazy. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 15 and 77, it says, But you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. I want you to know that God will reward you at the right time. Some of you are saying, Lord, when you going to reward me? When you going to bless me? God is going to bless you. All you have to do is stay focused, stay prayed up, and do what you need to do. Stop comparing yourself. I don't care if somebody is making six figures, five figures, four, three. It doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of women focus on the money a lot and a lot of men focus on money but listen to me you can make more money than your partner but guess what when God bless your partner they can be making more than you so you need to stop judging people talking about oh I make this much I make you know 10,000 or oh, I'm making all this listen the problem we have, we compare ourselves to too many people. Listen to me. You need to learn how to keep up with yourself. Before God can bless you with anything, you need to have, you know, patience, understanding, and wisdom, and knowledge. God can't bless you with a man if you won't put him down. And you're a woman. God can't bless you with a woman. And you're not ready to receive the blessings that God got in her as a man. You have to be able to humble yourself. God give you a person. You talk, oh, I make this much. I make this much. That's the problem with some of y'all ladies and with some of y'all men. Y'all like to brag about yourself. And you wonder why nobody want to date you. Because you you not the person that they want. They been a got married to you and everything. But they like, look, you, you put me down. I can't even marry you. There ain't no future with us. This is just a hit and quit thing. You thinking that it's something that's going to blow your mind. And God like, look, mm -mm, it's not the one. So you got to be careful. You you got to be careful running your mouth. Talking about, I make this much. Eventually, they going to know how much you make. When they walk and feed into your house. They gonna know how much you make. But all I'm saying is stop bragging about yourself so much. A man don't like a woman that can brag so much about herself. Oh, I got this, I got this, and I got all this. They hear what you're saying. But are you gonna, you know, do better in a way of saving your marriage, becoming a better woman? Everything in your life can be going good. Your career, your family, everything. But the problem you have with your husband, you ain't talking to him. You can, listen, you can celebrate your business all day long, but you got to make sure you're doing God's will as well. If you will pray for your husband, make sure you're doing everything in God's will. Make sure you keep it God first in everything you do, and God will do the rest. So remember to stay prayed up and do what you need to do because God will reward you. God don't like people that can brag all day. And say, oh, I did this. I did. Listen, you asking God for a husband, you got to humble yourself. I'm telling you. I had to humble myself. I had to pray. You can't be conceited. God ain't going to bless you. And you see you all conceited. And you putting that man down and all this. You got to be 
being able to lift your man up. I don't care how much money you're making. So what? You could be making, I don't care, 10 figures, 10, 25, 39, whatever. You got to learn how to pray. You got to learn how to fast and pour out to yourself. How can you pray for your husband, but you can't pray for your kids? How can you pray for your kids, but you can't pray for your husband? You got to learn how to rebuke the demon that is in your household. Some of y'all got demons in your household. You need to talk about, I make this much and I do this. God going to bless those that's doing what they're supposed to do. And you shall receive the reward. So stay focused. Be encouraged. Do God's will. And you will see the blessing that God is going to do in your life. Doesn't matter how much money you make. God going to bless you and he's going to increase you when you do what he tells you to do. You got to be obedient though. You being disobedient, your business, everything will fall down. But stand tall because God going to bless you. If you've been obedient, I love you. Don't give up. Pray about all things. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.